discuss the solution for question number 8. A rocket is launched upward from the ground with the initial velocity of 35 meter per second. So, we list the information given from the question. The magnitude of the acceleration, which is A, is equal to 5 meter per second minus 2. Suddenly, the engine break down at a height of 20 km. So, kilometer, kilo is 10 power of 3. Neglect the air resistance. So, first we need to calculate the V, speed of the rocket at the height of 20 km. We will use the equation of V square, which is equal to U square plus 2AS. Our V, we want to calculate the V. So, U is 35 square plus 2, A is 5, S is referred to the height achieved by the racket which is 20 km. If you calculate the V, you will get that the V at the 20 km high is 448.6 m per second. For question number B, We want to calculate the maximum height achieved by the rocket. So for the maximum height, it is equal to H plus width H prime. Now we want to calculate the H prime. So to calculate the H prime, we will use the equation of V square is equal to U square minus 2GH. For the H prime, because of the rocket, the engine of the rocket is break down. The rocket moving with the free fall motion. So we use negative 2GH. When we substitute now, at this position, the initial velocity of the second H prime is represent the final velocity at 20 km. So our initial velocity is 448.6 m per second. And at the maximum height, V is equal to 0 and the rocket moving with the acceleration due to the gravity G. Now we want to substitute the value where we, V is equal to 0. U is 448.6 square minus with 2. G is 9.81 and H prime that we want to calculate. If you calculate the H prime, you will get that the value is 10.26 kilometer. Because of that, we will get the maximum height which is 20 kilometer plus 10.26 kilometer equal to 30.26 kilometer. That's the answer. Is it clear? Now, we will go to the question number C. But before that, I just clean up the screen. Okay. So, for question number C, we want to calculate the time of flight. So, total time of flight or time of flight is equal to T1 plus T2. So, referring to the diagram, T1 is represent when the rocket moving from for the height of 20 km and T2 is when the rocket moving freely which is after the engine breakdown until ground so we will calculate the T1 and T2 first to calculate the T1 we will use the equation of V is equal to U plus A T1 so, our V is 448.6, our U is 35, G is 5, T1. So, we will get that the T1 is equal to 82.7 second. For the T2, we will use the equation of S is equal to UT minus half GT square. We use this equation, which is minus g t half g t square, because of the object's move 
freely after the engine breakdown. So when we substitute, okay, at this part, we need to know what is our S, displacement. So the definition of displacement is actually from initial, referring to the diagram, from initial point to a final point in a straight line. So because of that, we will get that the displacement is equal to negative 20 km. Why negative? Because of the direction is downward, which is from initial to final point. Now we will substitute in our equation negative 20 km is equal to our u at 20 km height is 448.6 t2 we want to calculate okay sorry just label in the equation minus with half g is 9.81 and t2 we want to calculate t2 square so if you calculate the t2 you will get two value so we will choose the positive value which is 1 to 4 Point three second. Now we will get the time of flight, or we can calculate the time of flight, which is t one plus t two equal to two hundred and seven second. That's the answer.